This Can-Am air intake system is designed to increase power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. Can-Am 69-8620 TTK air intake fits 2012 and 2013 Toyota Camry models with 2.5 liter engines. The 69-8620 TTK air intake is not legal for sale or highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check KNFilters.com for an up-to-date list of models this air intake fits and for a list of other carb adoption states. Cannon power testing showed an estimated power gain of 5.7 horsepower at 5,605 RPM with the 69-8620 TTK air intake installed on a 2012 Toyota Camry with a 2.5 liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather, and other variables. With the air intake installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. The intake system includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Disconnect the EVAP solenoid electrical connection. Release the spring clamp securing the crankcase vent hose. Then, remove the crankcase vent hose from the vehicle. Loosen the hose clamp securing the intake hose to the airbox lid. Release the two airbox lid retaining clips. Then, remove the airbox lid and factory air filter from the vehicle. Remove the two bolts securing the lower airbox to the vehicle. Then, pull the lower airbox up to release it from the mounting grommet. Disconnect it from the fresh air intake duct and remove it from the vehicle. Unbolt the EVAP solenoid from the mounting bracket. Loosen the hose clamp securing the intake hose to the throttle body and remove the intake hose from the vehicle. Remove the bolt securing the rear airbox mounting bracket to the strut tower. Then remove the bracket from the strut tower. Install the filter adapter into the heat shield and secure it with the provided hardware. Install the two 1 half inch rubber mounted studs onto the heat shield. Cut the provided edge trim into three sections. One section will be five inches long, one section will be six inches long, and the final section will be 37 inches long. Install the edge trim onto the heat shield. Install the heat shield mounting bracket onto the inner fender airbox mounting location. Install the one inch rubber mounted stud onto the front airbox mounting location. Install the heat shield into the vehicle so the fresh air duct slides over the tube on the heat shield and the heat shield sits on the mounting locations. Secure the heat shield to the rubber mounted studs and brackets with the provided hardware. Install the silicone hose onto the throttle body and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Remove the two screws securing the mass air sensor into the upper air box. Then remove the mass air sensor from the upper air box. Install the mass air sensor into the K&N intake tube and secure it with the provided hardware. Install the 90 degree vent fitting into the K&N intake tube. On vehicles not equipped with an EVAP hose connected to the intake tube, install the provided NPT plug onto the K&N intake tube. On vehicles equipped with an EVAP hose to the intake tube, install the 5 16th inch vent fitting into the K&N intake tube. Install the EVAP bracket onto the K&N intake tube using the provided hardware. Install the hump hose all the way onto the K&N intake tube. Do not tighten the hose clamps at this time. Install the K&N intake tube assembly into the silicone hose at the throttle body. Align it with the filter adapter. Then slide the hump hose onto the filter adapter. 
Secure the hose with the provided hose clamps. Secure the EVAP solenoid to the bracket installed onto the K&N intake tube using the provided hardware. Adjust the solenoid and bracket for best fit, then tighten the bolt securing the bracket. Install one end of the silicone hose onto the vent fitting installed into the K&N intake tube. Install the other end of the silicone hose onto the fitting on the valve cover. Reconnect the EVAP solenoid and mass air sensor electrical connections. Install the K&N air filter onto the filter adapter and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. It will be necessary for all K&N high flow air intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. K&N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The K&N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension, download installation instructions, view dyno charts showing estimated horsepower gains for this product, and view product details. For information on where to buy K&N products, go to knfilters.com.